The Stanford Police Department is finally getting a new building. Mayor David Martin made the announcement at the police station Thursday, presenting his plan for a new state-of-the-art headquarters. As we well know, this building has really not kept pace. The department outgrew this facility years ago, forcing many of the department's important operations to be forced outside of the main building and into the police garage or into other buildings. While a new police headquarters was always a priority, the mayor says the discovery of asbestos in the building last fall called for quicker action. Although the problem was addressed and there is no present danger to those in the building, officials say it's time to get the ball rolling. In addition to current conditions regarding health and safety, the building has a long history of related issues including ongoing concerns with the drinking water and mold. Additionally, we have a record of insect and bird infestation. Nobody should be working in a building where there is fear that it's in some way unsafe, um, some silent killer. I believe this building is safe and we will continue to do everything to keep it safe, but nonetheless, um, they shouldn't be subject to that. We have a great city, we have a great police department. We need a great police building for the 21st century. The new facility will be built next to the existing police building at 805 Bedford Street, by acquiring neighboring properties. This includes 671 Bedford, owned by the law offices of Plotnick and Plotnick, and the site of the historical Hoyt Barnum House at 713 Bedford, owned by the Stanford Historical Society. We are going to move the Hoyt Barnum House, and that's a significant issue and a significant concern to me as well as to others. Um, it's a prospect that we obviously take very seriously giving the house, the home's historic significance to our history. Built in 1699, the Hoyt Barnum House is the oldest home in Stamford. The house at its current location, however, standing in the shadow of the police department, is not visited and, in my opinion, not appreciated as much as it deserves. The Stamford Historical Society has expressed their desire to relocate that house where it can enhance their educational offers, offerings for visitors, um, such as on their current site at 1508 High Ridge Road. In return for the Barnum House location on Bedford Street, the city would give the Historical Society ownership of the land its headquarters sits on at High Ridge Road. If we could have that and the land, then we have a safe place to keep Hoyt Barnum House. It's, uh, we have a big parking lot. It'll be so much easier for the public to access, to really see. The mayor expects the new police building will take three years to complete, and estimates the project will cost north of $50 million. This is still going to be a significant cost in our capital budget, and we will have to delay or extend other important projects or make sacrifices in other areas. Police will continue to work in the current building in the meantime. The plan will now be presented to the city's boards for approval, a process that is expected to take several months. A complete outline of the plan can be viewed at the website provided at StanfordCT.gov.